Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing three fall decor DIYs that were all super easy for me to create. I had so much fun at making these projects and I just love how they turn out. I hope that you guys like them as much as I do. If you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. You guys know that helps out my channel. Now let's go ahead and jump right into today's projects. For DIY number one, I'm making a pedestal crate. For this one, I used a mini wooden crate from Dollar Tree, and I started by applying the Craft Smart wood stain in the color brown with an old towel, and I just applied that stain to all of the sides of the crate. I also did the inside of the crate and then also the bottom side of the crate. After the stain was all dry, I then went in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory on a smaller paintbrush and I just started by dry brushing that color around all of the top edges of my crate and then I just continued that same dry brushing technique on all of the rest of the crate. Next I'm taking four of these wooden finial caps. I picked these ones up from Walmart. They did come in a pack. They had this size and then also a smaller size ones as well. But I'm taking these ones and I'm painting them with that same Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I only did one coat of paint on all four of the caps. Now it's time to assemble my crate. I'm taking the finial caps and I'm placing them on the bottom side of my wood crate just to get them in place before I start hot gluing them down. I took the hot glue, just placed it on the bottom side of the cap and then just pressed the cap back into place on my wood crate. I found some of these word sayings in the Target dollar spot. I'm going to be using the one that says Hello Fall. To attach it to my crate, I'm placing hot glue onto the back side and then just pressing that right down in the center on one of the sides of the crate. Next, I'm placing some Spanish moss inside of my wood crate. I did use some scissors to cut the moss down a little bit so that it was easier to work with. I also put some raffia on top of that Spanish moss and then I'm using some of these pumpkins that I picked up from Walmart. This had eight different pumpkins in it for $2.98 and I just love the color of all of these pumpkins. I just put all of them on top of the Spanish moss and the raffia to complete my project. Here is my pedestal crate all finished. I'm so happy with how this one turned out and it could not have been an easier project. I'm really loving the greens and whites for fall this year. It goes perfect with all of my home decor. Now moving into DIY number two, I'm making a thankful sign. For this one, I'm using one of these square Dollar Tree signs. This one already had this gather word in the middle of it, but it's already popped off, which is perfect because I wanted to have it not attached. And then I really liked the outside color of this since it was already like a distressed white, but I did want to have the front edges have a little bit more white color on them. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and just kind of not dry brushing, but painting that color just randomly all over those front edges to give them more of a little bit of white color. After my paint was all dry, I then took a screwdriver and took off the back hanger that was on this sign. I needed it to be off for when I pop out the back side of this sign. To pop it out, I just used some pressure with my thumbs and it came out very, very easily. I just mainly put the pressure around all of the edges of the sign. Next, I'm using the square backing for my sign as a guide to help me trace out this fabric. I'm just placing it onto the side of the fabric and I am leaving a little bit of space on the side of it because I'm going to want my fabric to be overlapping. So I'm just using a pen to trace that out. And this fabric I did pick up from Walmart. It came as a fat quarter and I just really loved the print on this and I believe it was only $1.47. Once I had everything all traced out, then I just used my scissors to cut the square of my fabric. Now I'm going to be attaching my fabric to the backing of my sign. As you can see, I do have the overlap of the fabric on each side of the sign, and this is just going to be really easy for me to fold the fabric over the back of the sign. To attach it, I just placed hot glue around all four sides of the back of the sign and then folded the fabric over onto the hot glue to fully attach it. Thank you. 
Next, I'm attaching the backing back into the frame that it originally came in. I'm placing hot glue on the inside of the frame, then taking the square backing and just placing it back into place. Moving on to the pumpkin I'll be using for my sign. I'm using some of this plastic wood to fill the hole that's in the pumpkin. This one came as like a pumpkin garland from Dollar Tree and I really didn't want the hole in it so I'm just filling it with a wood filler. And then once the wood filler is all dry then I took some sandpaper and just sanded off any excess and I really wanted to have a smooth base for my pumpkin so by sanding it down it's really gonna give me a nice smooth finish. Then I'm painting my pumpkin with my folk art chalk paint in the color sage and I only had to do one coat of this paint. And for the stem of my pumpkin I painted it with the Waverly chalk paint in the color hazelnut. To give my pumpkin a little bit more detail I'm using the Waverly paint in the color ivory on a small paintbrush and I'm painting on what would be like the grooves of the pumpkin and the little um, like cutouts at the bottom of the pumpkin I'm using as a guide to help me paint on those lines and I'm also taking that same ivory color and I'm painting it around all of the outside edges of the pumpkin as well. I'm also painting this rectangle that was originally on the front of my sign. It's really cute with that gather word on it, but I wanted mine to be all white. So I'm painting mine with the Waverly chalk paint in the color uh, ivory. And I did have to do three different coats of paint to get that gather word all covered up. And now I'm painting a little bit more. I'm using my Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink to paint this wooden thankful word sticker that came from the Target Dollar Spot. These are for like the fall stuff from the Dollar Spot. So if you haven't seen them out yet, they should be out real soon. I'm just using a really small paintbrush to paint this color on and I only had to do one coat of paint. Now it's time to assemble everything together. I'm placing some hot glue on the back of the pumpkin that I painted and placing it right in the center of my fabric on my frame. Once I have that attached, then I'm placing hot glue on the back of the rectangle that I painted with the ivory color and I'm placing that right in the center of my pumpkin. And then I'm taking the little sticker part off of the back of the thankful word that I painted in and I'm placing that right in the center of the rectangle. I was going to leave everything as is, but then decided I needed to have a little raffia bow on the front of my pumpkin. So here I'm just tying a really simple bow with some strands of raffia and then just making my bow a lot smaller. Since my pumpkin is kind of small, I needed to have my raffia bow really small. So here I'm just working with the raffia. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get it exactly right, or for me anyway. Once I had my bow all made, then I just hot glued it right underneath the stem of my pumpkin. This is the thankful sign all finished. This one was so easy and inexpensive to create and it is the perfect tabletop sign for this fall. Now moving into DIY number three, I'm making a grateful sign. For this one I used a scrap piece of wood that I had and it is 11 inches by five and a half inches. And I'm using my Craft Smart wood stain in the color brown on an old towel and I'm just applying this stain on the entire piece of wood and this stain is a water-based stain so it dries really quick. After I had stained all of my wood I'm taking this grateful word. This one is from Hobby Lobby and it comes in a pack with a few different um, wood word cutouts like this and I'm painting it with a Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I only had to do one coat to get it all covered up since this is a lighter wood underneath. And for this project I'm also going to be using some of these small wooden pumpkins. I picked these ones up from Hobby Lobby as well and they already have like this really pretty like green around the stem and everything's already painted except for like the pumpkin is just that unfinished wood color but I wanted mine to have like a dry brushed pumpkin color to them so I'm using my Waverly paint in the color pumpkin and I'm just dry brushing that over top of four of these wooden pumpkins. Now that I have everything all painted, I'm attaching my grateful woodward cutout to the very top of my wood sign. I'm placing hot glue on the back side of the letters and then just pressing that right down onto my wood, like I said, in the center. Next, I'm taking some of this white cotton cord from Hobby Lobby and I'm attaching it to the back side of my wood. 
I'm placing hot glue on to the back side of the wood and then placing that cotton cord right over top of the glue to attach it. Then to ensure that the cotton cord stays in place along the front side, because I'm going to have it hanging kind of like garland, I'm doing some more hot glue on the front side of the sign just right on like the outside edge and then placing the cotton cord over the hot glue just to hold everything into place and I'm continuing that same step for attaching the cotton cord with the glue on the other side. I wanted to add a little bit more color to my sign and to match my orange pumpkins I'm using some of this orange and cream color plaid ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm cutting two strips of this ribbon long enough that I can have them going along the front of the sign and then the two ends wrapped around the back side. To attach them, I'm just placing them kind of underneath that cotton cord and then I'm placing the two ends on the back side and just hot gluing those down. And I did them on each side of my sign. Next, I'm attaching the four pumpkins that I've already painted on top of the cotton cord along the front of my sign. I'm just using some hot glue on the back side of each pumpkin and then pressing them down onto the cotton cord. The hanger for my sign, I'm gonna be using some of this jewelry wire to create it. I'm bending the wire to the shape that I want and then cutting it down to the size that I need. I'm gonna be stringing beads onto this wire, so I'm just bending the end of the wire so that the beads will stay on. And the beads that I'm using are from Hobby Lobby. This comes in like a variety pack of a few different sizes. And the size that I'm stringing on to this wire are the smallest ones that come in this pack. And I just continued stringing them on until I had my wire completely covered in the beads. Once I have all of my beads strung on, I'm then bending the other end of my wire so that the beads stay on my wire. And then just kind of working with it to see how I want the shape of my hanger before I use some hot glue on the back side of my sign to attach my two ends of my wire. I do not recommend this. If you guys have a staple gun, I really recommend just stapling the wires on the back side of the wood instead of using hot glue, but I didn't think it through and I ended up just using hot glue to attach them. And this is my grateful sign all finished. This one screams classic fall to me and I cannot wait to display it in my new home this fall. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. You guys know that really helps out my channel. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I would love to hear in the comments down below which project from today's video is your favorite. And I do have lots of more fall projects coming for you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.